So do you guys remember a few weeks ago when Frontlines was gonna have a massive, massive update? And they were actually gonna divide the update into two parts. And they did release part one, but sadly, part two never came to be a thing. And today we're gonna be going over why. But before we ask why, we gotta figure out the what. What was this second part of an update? And let me tell you, the second part of the update was actually a lot bigger than the first part of the update. The first part of the update, we got a few bug fixes, we got a new map, we got all sorts of stuff. This update was gonna bring us squads, or also known as a party system, new weapons called Kunai, Tomahawk, an L85, and a Taurus revolver. They were also adding new UI, they were adding a new progression system with weapon levels and weapon mastery skins. Now that sounds great and all, but where is it? Well, once update day rolled on around, guess what? They actually released a pretty big announcement involving this update. So let's go ahead and read it. Hello everyone, we will be unfortunately delaying today's update to another time. The plan was to shift the second update from the 28th to the 30th, which it was already delayed at this point, but we encountered several factors that made it necessary to delay it further. We are actively discussing the topic of improving transparency and communication with our community about the development process. As we realize, simply announcing dates with the promise content does not work. We expected our travel page to help present a better view of our progress in the front lines development. Obviously, we need to do more. In order to give you guys all a bigger picture of what we do and where we are in the development, we have decided to do with the following things. Weekly development meetings with the community, development live streams, and posting progress to more of the Discord channels. Honestly, thinking about it, I was kind of upset that they actually didn't get the update out on time. However, I also see this as a massive W for the Frontline's development team. And this is actually kind of a W for the team because it shows that they're actually trying to make things work. It's a pretty common thing in gaming nowadays where companies or developers release games that aren't finished or updates that aren't finished and really, really buggy. Almost all the releases of new games this year that are made by big publishing companies usually aren't finished and they're usually just cash grabs. I mean, literally for them to swallow their pride and be like hey this update's not ready we're gonna get it out sometime but we just need more time because we didn't have enough time we can't give it to you guys in this quality that we want it to be in which as depressing as that is it's honestly a really really good thing i mean at the moment frontline is kind of like the king of fps inside roblox when you think of roblox games now it's not maybe phantom forces it's probably frontlines now and somehow these small group of devs are doing a better pr job than the entirety of activision blizzard and yes if you're wondering i am still salty about the whole overwatch 2 thing being canceled but one thing that does suck about not having a really Really big corporation or a big publishing team at your disposal is the fact that the lack of content that comes out with it. They already announced a few days prior to the previous message that I read to you that they're actually cutting out a few things from the update. Because for obvious reasons, when you have a team of like three or four people working on a literal triple A Roblox game, everything takes a long while. And which is why we waited so long for Frontlines to actually come out because it's a really small team of people doing this. They have to build everything from the ground up. And this message sums it up perfectly. We had to drop certain weapons from the weapon list. We cannot guarantee that the Barrett 50 Cal Uzi or P90 will have an finished animations by this week. The animations will most likely be finished within two to four days of the update and we will push these out immediately when they're ready. We also dropped the store-bought skin bundles. The bundle skins, unlike the mastery skins, are reliant on hand-drawn artwork. They're difficult to mass produce, so each bundle skin would currently apply to only a subset of two attachments for guns. We plan on making a disclaimer with the purchase, but, but many would either misunderstand the disclaimer or miss it completely altogether. So we'll hold off the skin bundles until they at least would work for more than two weapons. And on one extra note, we had to drop the AK from the list because the modeler working on it went MIA. We were left with only low poly models and therefore couldn't complete the baking process. So it really just sounds like Frontlines has just gone through one issue after another after another. I mean, it's really hard to find skill for anything these days, especially on Roblox and especially for graphics that high level. I mean, we see it all the time with the high graphics Roblox games just having absolutely terrible gunplay. And I can't even imagine how long it would take to actually model a gun from the ground up and then also put working skins on them that are hand drawn. Even though Frontlines has gotten way too ambitious with the update, it at least shows that they're trying to make something better about the game. This is only their first content update and they're trying to make it a big one and a good one. I honestly haven't seen in a very long time a developer care this much about their game and how well it's perceived. As I said before, a lot of people just throw garbage out there and they just let it do its thing, but Frontlines is really, 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 really trying to make this the perfect game possible. They're trying to make it the Call of Duty killer. Now, will it ever get to that point? Probably 
not. But I think everybody can agree that it is pretty refreshing to see somebody actually care about gaming and actually care about what they're putting out in the world. Everyone has the right to be disappointed about this whole update thing. I'm disappointed about it, but at least I know that they're trying. As far as I'm concerned, I haven't seen any new information about when the second part of the update's gonna come out. It's currently 7-11 and still nothing. We were supposed to get this like two weeks ago. So I guess what we'll do over the summer is just wait and see what happens. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the short video today. I just wanted to get something out regarding this update because I did say I was going to make a video once the update came out, but it just never came out. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, hit that like button. And if you really liked the video, hit that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. Anyways, guys, I'm out of here. I'm going to go pass out. Have a good rest of your day.